In this question, uh, the question states that in an experiment, 0.6 moles of chlorine is reacted with an excess of hot aqueous NaOH, sodium hydroxide, and one of the products is a compound of sodium oxygen and chlorine. And he's asking for the mass of the product which is formed. Now, uh, you, you should be familiar with this reaction. Uh, Cl2, when it reacts with uh, NaOH, uh, it ends up producing uh, two things. One is NaCl and the other one is, uh, this is uh, so sodium chloride and then it also produces sodium chlorate 5, which is NaClO3. And it also produces water. And to balance this equation, uh, there would be 5 NaCl, 6 NaOH and 3 Cl2s. So this is the uh, balance equation of uh, the reaction, chlorine reacting with NaOH and producing sodium chlorate. And you must already be familiar with this reaction. Uh, uh, this is a typical reaction of group 7 compounds when they reacted with a hot aqueous NaOH. So the information that is provided in the question is that you have 0.6 moles of chlorine. So if you have 0.6 moles of chlorine, and I'm going to use ratios now. Uh, if you have 0.6 moles of chlorine, so MOL moles, what amount of the product that he's talking about is the one that contains sodium, oxygen, and chlorine, which is this one. So he's basically asking for the mass of this product. Now you, you need to use ratios. Uh, if you look at the equation, three chlorines produce one NaClO3. So let's uh, write that down. The ratio in which chlorine and the product that we have NaClO3 So the ratio in which they are reacting and the product is being formed, uh, three chlorines produce one NaClO3. So that's the ratio. Uh, and we are given 0.6 moles of chlorine. So if you're given 0.6 moles of chlorine using the unitary method, how many moles of uh, NaClO3 would be produced? So let's call that X and use the unitary method, use uh, crisscross method. So I'm going to uh, use the unitary method of ratios. So it's going to be 3x would be equal to 0 0.6 and x would be equal to 0 0.2 moles. So at the end of the day, my answer is that the moles of Cl NaClO3 sodium chlorate, they are going to be 0 0.2 moles. And finally, once the moles of NaClO3 are, fo are found, uh, you need to find the mass. And the formula for mass is mass is equal to moles multiplied by MR of NaClO3, which in this case the moles are 0 0.2 moles, and the MR of NaClO3 is going to be 23 plus Cl is 35.5, and there are three oxygen, so that's 16 into 3. So that's going to be the MR, and we're going to try and find what the answer is going to be using our calculators. So it's going to be 0 0.2 multiplied by 23 plus 35.5 plus 16 into 3. And the value that we are going to get is going to be 21.3 grams, which is going to be the final answer for the question. So this A, option A is your answer.